There's been a lot of fear going on in our nation right now. Fear from COVID, fear from protests, fear from government. You know, here's one of the ways to manage fear. You know, there are circumstances that hit us that kind of bombard us at an unconscious level. It could be conscious or unconscious. But if you can identify what the unconscious is, you can work with it at a different level. You know, here's an example. I work in companies, you know, in, a, in, a, in an organization, if there's a little bit of fear within somebody that they want to be liked, it actually affects how they respond. They can over try and connect or they can pull back because they're afraid that they don't fit. You know, fear has a funny way of twisting us and we don't like it because you can actually fear, fear, feel fear in your body and it causes our organs actually to absorb its cortisol, the stress that actually lingers. And we don't like that place, so we want to actually find our way out of it. And we can overreact or underreact, or we can find another option. So here's the way out of fear. You know, pause. If you can take a look at it and go, what is this thing right now that's putting strain on me? And if you can label it, then you can work at it different. You know, here's a quote from Andy Stanley that I love. In the light of your past, your current circumstances, and your future hopes and dreams... What's the wise thing to do right now? And when you can answer all three of those, you're going to start to get solutions for your fear. You're going to know how to respond in wisdom. And responding in wisdom is far better than reacting out of pain, hurt, and fear. So there's one of the ways out. So let's just play it out again. If you can stop, analyze the fear, and see if you can label it. And then sometimes it helps actually to talk to somebody about it in a healthy way. And the next thing, here's the Andy Stanley question. In light of your history your current circumstances, and your future hopes and dreams, what's the wise thing to do? And that'll be different for each of us, but it's going to empower you with options. It's going to give you the wise thing to do that's going to give you the ability to have solutions. And that's going to give you hope eventually. And there, therein lies the message I want to communicate. So no matter how much we, we or you have been bombarded, there is a way out and hope lies in it. And it comes in the wisdom of what the next step is for you. So here's the question again, in the light of your history, your current circumstances, and your future hopes and dreams, what's the wise thing for you to do? You know, thanks for joining me. I want to wish you best wishes on your journey. I know we all want to make the world a better place. So thanks for what you've done. Keep going forward and find the wise thing to do. So have a great day.